Hello there. I just jumped in rather than think about it as I haven't written anything. Um, but I just wanted to, to say something that I was saying on the mess week the other day. But I think its importance is, uh, you know, not to be uh, underestimated. Is that what I mean? But basically, uh, mermaids, as I said the other day, is tied to everything else in this fight, you know, certainly in the UK, but I think worldwide as well. Because what we've seen with, uh, hold on a second, let me get better sound on this. Hopefully that will, sorry, forgot to plug in my snowball. Um, so basically what we have with mermaids, right, is we have a, a supposed established standard of care for uh, gender confused or gender dysphoric children, okay? Um, and over the last five years, we've had a group of people, many of whom have been involved in bullying campaigns against people uh, like me and JK Rowling and uh, Helen Stanland and, and all the rest of us. Um, they have been using their so-called expertise in this uh, to paint anyone who opposes mermaids as a bigot, et cetera, et cetera, and harming trans kids. Most famously, the, the, the Donkey Kong uh, Bomber Guy broadcast, uh, which I don't think he'll do again, funnily enough. Um, but, uh, but anyway, uh, the, the, basically, you've had all these experts. And, you know, you have all the idiots like Billy Bragg and, and Josie Long, and people like this who are just kind of celebrity doofuses who decided to pander to the mob instead of doing the proper research, um, which every person in this fight on the other, other side has done. Um, and they kind of profess their, their, uh, their knowledge of, of these standards of care. They, they professed that these standards of care were impeccable and mermaids knew what they were doing even though Mermaids is run by, uh, I think, a systems analyst. And they're the only professional they had on the books was a, was a, a doctor who's been since struck off um, and disgraced, you know, Helen Weberly and her husband, David. I think it's David. Um, so, so these weren't really standards of care at all. This was just a hunch by Susie Green who admits in her uh, TED talk that the only reason, sorry, something's bleeping, I'll see if I get rid of that, that the only reason she, she, she transitioned her son was because she had a homophobic husband. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's been out there for a number of years. And yet again, these, these same celebrities never picked up on it never said, hang on a second, what, 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 what makes them trans again? Playing with girls toys, what? No one said that. Everyone said, yeah, let's do it. Let's get their, let's get their bollocks off. Let's get their tits off and, and start them down this brave new um, life, uh, suffering early menopause uh, and, uh, <laughs> you know, all the rest of it. All the rest of the things that detransitioners are now reporting and, uh, as I often say, in in you know, with with very similar stories, all of them. But that's not the, my point. My point is not those celebrities, the the um, the people who attached themselves to this cause uh, and used it to bully people. Emma Watson, for perfect example, like she did, she she betrayed J.K. Rowling on behalf of a charity. That's you know, has paedophiles as trustees and mutilates young gay kids or young nascent gay kids. Um, anyway, so what was I going to say? Yes, no, that's not the kind of most important thing. Most important thing is that mermaids is a, a direct shot into the heart of this ideology because along with all the celebs who had, as someone just said, Martin just said, had rainbows in their eyes, instead of, uh, you know, doing the reading. Um, there have been a lot of supposedly trans people saying that mermaids are great. Now, these trans people look to me a lot like AGPs, you know, and they're kind of all over the media. They're all over uh, Twitter. 
People like Katie Montgomery, Paris Lees, Sean Fay, all these people, they have all been saying the same thing. They've been saying that I'm trans. This is a very important service for young people. And trans kids must be put on this pathway. It's very, very important. You know, all those people have been saying that. And now it's becoming clear that they too didn't have a clue what they were talking about. Now, this is important because what they've been saying is, I'm trans and that's the important part, right? And what it means is they felt they could continue to bamboozle the uh, public by claiming some sort of fellowship with these poor young girls, for instance, in, you know, who are suffering from ROGD, rapid onset gen gender dysphoria, uh, are spreading it to their classmates. I heard the, um, the boss of a children's charity in uh, Ireland just had a double mastectomy and is posting, you know, pictures of, of, of herself proudly afterwards. So, you know, the idea that this isn't a social contagion when you have youth leaders doing things like that, it's ridiculous, you know. Um, but all these people will kind of point to mermaids and say, oh, if only mermaids existed when I was a kid and all this sort of stuff. And it, they've just been they've just been completely demoned you know the the all these people who've been appearing on tv shows praising mermaids these agps especially what they've been doing is they've been using these children as a shield to give them their new sacred status so you know that's why sean Fay is hanging out with florence and the machine you know because th this is a new sacred class. Um, sound is low. Uh, this is a new sacred class, and um, they, they, you know, they're not going to give up their place on, you know, the this morning sofa or whatever it happens to be, uh, and give up that 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 kind of sacred spot they've they've achieved in society by telling the truth. But the truth is this, those young girls with dysphoria have nothing, nothing to do with men like Sean Fay. You know, they have nothing to do with men like uh, Montgomery, with men like Hayden, with men like, um, anyway, the list goes on. Uh, the bloke who went into prison and sexually assaulted women, <laughs> you know. Um, they have nothing to do with those people, with those girls. These are two entirely different groups. The word trans does not cover them both. And I think that as we go along, I think their voices, these AGP men who've been trying to pull the wool over everyone's eyes for the last uh, 10 years, maybe, uh, are going to become, I think more people are going to realize who they are and what they're about and, and why this has happened. And I'm hoping that the backlash, when it comes, won't affect you know, transsexuals who've been fighting on our side uh, along with us for a number of years now um, and will only kind of mean that, you know, maybe those people will get platform for a change, the people who disagree with this ideology and the cynical opportunists will be uh, shown to be on the wrong side of history and will be kind of uh, ignored, which they should be. Uh, give you a good example, Paris Lees. Paris Lees who was actually involved in, in something where an old man died after a robbery. Still got a media career. That's interesting. Um, but Paris Lees wrote uh, about the Donkey Kong uh, uh, campaign against me uh, very glowingly. And so, so Paris Lees is knowingly involved in this kind of fraudulent idea uh, that mermaids have been trying to uh, propagate. So I guess my point is, when these people are on TV, you know, complain, say, you know, say all these points, you know, they they must not no longer be seen as the as the voice of trans, <laughs> you know. Now I know people like Debbie Hayton are uh, controversial, and uh, a lot of people um, don't think Debbie has any place in this fight. Um, but I think that Debbie has been. <laughs> you know, resolute, and uh, even though Debbie gets a lot of 
uh, hate from both sides is still sticking with women and still writing on behalf of women. Let's see people like Debbie. If you're going to have a trans person on, put someone like Debbie on. Because the thing about Debbie is Debbie shows that this is an ideological fight. It's nothing to do with morals. It's nothing to do with ethics. It's to do with ideologies. It's to do with competing ideologies. And their ideology is whack. And our ideology is, you know, sound. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know, BBC Radio 4 had Fallon Fox on. That was an interesting example. You know, that basically just shows that the researchers at, at, to, at the, on the Today program, they just still don't have a clue what's going on in this. Most people don't have a clue what's going on in this. So when they reach for a trans person, they go for, you know, whoever pops into view. And, and that's someone like Fallon Fox, who's a, dis, who's a disgusting person, you know, beats up women on, on TV and boasts about it, you know. Um, oh, I just got a no, Graham, no. <laughs> Probably about Debbie. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no one's going to get me to turn against Debbie. Debbie was, has been a stalwart friend to me and has helped me through this in many, many ways. Um, you know, so as I always say about Debbie, you can pee next to me, brother. Um, anyway, so look, that was the first thing. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about was... Uh, I was I, I was going to put this on the site. I, I, I kind of thought about doing this... Uh, I, I no, no, sorry, I, I never think about doing this, and I should have thought about doing it a while ago because um, it always works. I always get a few kind of uptick in subscriptions when I ask people, um, but I find them hard to write because I don't really like writing begging letters, if that's the fucking word. But essentially, uh, I'm still, you know, five years after I've started this fight, I'm still kind of relying on the Substack for my money. I don't get money really from, from YouTube. Don't really understand the algorithms, and I don't think we're getting enough um, enough viewers for it to to really pay off. But the Substack is basically where I'm getting my income now, and I just wanted to. When did I say women can't? When did I say women can't speak? As I'm joking, when did I say that? And and I'm not saying that they should have loads of trans people on. I'm saying if they're going to have trans people on, have someone like them. Anyway. Um, uh, yeah, so anyway, the, the, the Substack is my income. And um, it's kind of got a, a good number of people, but not, not, not as many paid subscribers as I would hope. Um, and I, I just wanted to ask if, 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 if it is possible to, you know, I know times are tough, but if, if it is possible to um, uh, take out a, a year of subscription, that would be great. Um, uh, Things are getting a little bit, you know, delicate in terms of my living conditions and stuff like that. So I could really use uh, uh, a, a, certainly a short term injection. <laughs> so if you are in a position to only if you're in a position to help, please do take out a paid year subscription to the Substack. It really, really helps. Um, and uh, I kind of wanted to, uh, you know, say this because writing it is, is too hard. Um, yeah, so that was the second part of the play. Um, I don't want to jinx it by saying that mermaids are definitely sunk. That that could be a danger. You know, obviously, the, the charity commission might be captured the way everyone else is, and we might get a um, uh, a bad investigation. But um, I just don't think it's going to happen. I, I just don't think... I think there's just too much scrutiny on them now. And I think we're going... I think more and more people are interested in this group who had a paedophile on their trustee board um you know he uh he um uh i i don't think an investigation can really ignore what's been what's been going on the uh the signs are all good so i hope i haven't jinxed it um i think we're in good shape and i think the more light the more scrutiny that pours onto the mermaids um the better so yeah those are the two things little bit of a plea and um and just a kind of general thing about how mermaids is uh is going to bring down everything else because it's all it, it it is the base of the house of cards you cannot do what they've done to children and uh you have your ideology survive it's i don't think it's possible at least i hope it's not possible because if it is we really will be living in hell 
Anyway, what a lovely note to end on. <laughs> See you soon. And uh, yeah, please do join the Substack. It really would mean a lot. Thanks a lot. Bye.